Welcome to episode 1.0, Metric System and Scientific Notation. If you like this channel, give us a like and subscribe. So, if we're doing physics, we need to be working in the System International. This is the French system, and it's abbreviated SI, and that is basically the metric system. So, if we're going to be solving problems, you may remember from chemistry that you were in the CGS system, which is centimeters, grams, and seconds. But in physics, to solve our equations, we are in the MKS system. This is meters, kilograms, and seconds. So we won't be using CGS, we'll be using MKS. So if we're dealing with length and we're solving an equation, we need to be in meters. And if we're dealing with mass, our equations need to be in kilograms. And time is easy because in both systems we use seconds. So it's easy uh, not to forget that one. But what if we want to convert between meters and kilometers, or kilograms and grams. Well, we can use the staircase method. And the staircase method basically helps us to figure out how many decimal places we need to move something. There's a mnemonic for this, which is King Henry drinks milk, lemonade, and Gatorade during cold months. King Henry drinks milk, lemonade, Gatorade during cold months. The K is for kilo. The H is for hecto, which isn't used. D is for deca, which we also don't use. It's just a placeholder. And in physics, we don't use liters. So we're just dealing with meters and grams. D isn't used, deci, but we do use centi, and we do use milli. When we're dealing with length, we have to be careful because an M by itself is meters, but when we combine, combine uh, meters with milli, we have millimeters, so that's what two M's are. Let's do a couple of practice problems. Let's say we have 115 centimeters and we want to convert that to meters. Then we're going to start on the centimeter step and we're going to move to the meter step. That's one, two steps. Now we went up the staircase, but that's also moving left up the staircase. So we're gonna move our decimal place to the left. So our decimal place starts here, and we're moving two to the left. So that's gonna give us 1.15 meters. Let's do another one. Let's say we have 0. 0.00005 kilograms and we want to convert that to grams. So we're on the kilogram step, and we're going to move to the gram step, one, two, three. So we're going to move our decimal place, one, two, three, so that's 0 0.05 grams. And finally, we'll do one last problem, four millimeters to centimeters. So we're on our millimeter step, we move one back to centimeters, so that's going to be 0.4 centimeters. Our base unit is the kilogram, so we start out with one kg. Now, it's worth memorizing that one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. Something that's exactly one kilogram is a liter of water, so you can think about that. It's about 2.2 pounds. If we go up one power of 10, that's 10 kilograms, and that would be 22 pounds. So something that's 22 pounds might be a really, really big fat cat. If we go to 100 kilograms, that would be 220 pounds, and that would be perhaps an NFL football player uh, in, in that range, roughly. And if we go up one more power of 10, that's a thousand kilograms. 
and that would be 2,200 pounds, or roughly the weight of a small car. In powers of 10, the number 1 is 10 to the 0, and as we go up, our power raises by 1 power of 10. So 10 to the 1, 10 to the 2, and 10 to the 3. Working in the other direction, we can go down to 0.1 kilograms. Now 0.1 kilograms happens to be 100 grams, and we can go back and look at our staircase to verify that. So 100 grams, that's roughly the mass of a small piece of fruit. So a small apple, a plum, uh, a peach, something like that. If we go down again, we have 0.01 kilograms, and that is 10 grams, and that's roughly the mass of a Sharpie. So Sharpie might be 11 or 12 grams, but it's in that range. 0.001 kilograms, that would be one gram, and that's roughly the mass of a like a paper clip, something like that. And working backwards in powers of 10, that would be 10 to the minus 1, 10 to the minus 2, and 10 to the minus 3. We're going to start with our base unit, which is the meter. And one meter is exactly, or pretty close, to 3.28 feet and that's worth memorizing. 10 meters, that would be 32.8 feet, so that would be roughly the height of a two-story house up to the top of the roof. 100 meters, that would be um, the 100 meter dash, or roughly the length of a football field. And 1,000 meters, that has a name. It's called a kilometer, 1,000 meters, kilo, that's the three decimal places. And that's roughly 0.6 miles, which is worth memorizing. So going in the opposite direction, we have 0.1 meters. 0.1 meters is 10 centimeters. So here's a ruler, and we have 10 centimeters from here to here. So if I look at my pencil, my pencil's a little more than 10 centimeters. If we go down a power of 10, we have 0 0.01 meters. So that would be one centimeter. And something that's about one centimeter is the width of my pinky, roughly. Maybe closer to the, the width of the nail. And point, uh, zero, zero, 0.001 meters, that would be one millimeter. And if you look on here, we have the width here, that's a millimeter, and that's roughly the length of this, or the width of this pencil lead. And lastly, we have point zero, 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 0.0001 meters and that would be a tenth of a millimeter, 0.1 millimeters, and that would be roughly the thickness of a piece of paper. So 10 pieces of paper stacked together would be roughly one millimeter. Now we're gonna do 10 practice problems. I highly recommend down in the description downloading uh, the questions and answers and doing your best to complete them. If you get stuck, you can watch the solutions that I'm going to go through them. Unfortunately, for this particular unit, you do need to do some memorization. So, what is the SI unit for mass used in physics? SI is System International, which is metric, and for mass and physics, since we're using the uh, MKS system, that's going to be the kilogram. Again, what's the metric use unit for length? That's going to be the meter. And converting 85 centimeters to meters. So we need to do our staircase. So King Henry drinks 
milk lemonade Gatorade during cold months. 85 centimeters from the centi step we go up two to the left. So two to the left is going to give that as 0.85 meters. Kilograms to grams. So we're here on the kilogram step. Kilo, one, two, three, three to the right, one, two, three. That's going to be four grams. What is the approximate mass of a kilogram in pounds on Earth? So you have to memorize that. That's a liter of water, and that is 2.2 pounds. What is the approximate length of a meter in feet? Another one that you need to memorize. That's 3.28 feet. What is the approximate thickness of a piece of paper in millimeters? Now, if you can remember that a millimeter is the thickness of a piece of pencil lead, so 10 pieces of paper is going to be about that thickness. So we have to go down one power of 10 from one millimeter. So one millimeter going down a power of 10 is going to be 0.1 millimeters. How tall is a student desk in centimeters? So very roughly, a student desk is gonna be about one meter tall. So one meter converting to centimeters, that's going to be 100 centimeters. So one meter is 100 centimeters. And if you need to check that, you can always use the uh, staircase method. What is the approximate mass of a plum in kilograms? Well, we know that a plum is approximately 100 grams. So if we want to go from grams to kilograms, that's going to be one, two, three, three to the left, one, two, three. So that's going to be 0.1 kilograms. And what is the approximate mass of an NFL football player in kilograms? Well, we know that one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. And if we multiply that by 100, that's going to give us 220 pounds, which is roughly the mass of a NFL football player. So 100 kilograms.